back to the daily grind and y'all know we gotta talk about this but before we do make sure you hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting b word cause you know what time it is it's full time MMA well touch my pickle and call me Sally we've got a doozy on our hands for Bellator 200 holy flying flipping flapjacks yo full time family this card is way bigger than you guys even fucking will get because you guys don't have the same connection with one of the fighters. And I don't even have a real connection, but I'll explain. Check me out. For one, the middleweight title fight between Rafael Carvalho and Gegard Mousasi is booked for the main event. Can't wait. A lot of you know Gegard Mousasi is, has been for the last few years one of my favorite fighters, if not my favorite fighter, you know, of all fighters. I mean, he went. To, I was wanting him to get a title shot when he was still in the UFC. He was beating guys, didn't lose. Went to Bellator, um, had that fight versus Alexander Slomenko. Some people said, oh, look at your boy. Oh, he's got beat up. That was a robbery. No, what happened in the fight versus Slomenko was Gegard Mousasi's orbital bone got broken in like the first round. Still went on to not get finished essentially with one eye and win the fight. Probably still won the first and the second round with one eye. Got the job done. Was it a dominant performance? No, because he had fucking one eye. But Gegard Mousasi did not take a fucking L that night. And now he's going to be fighting for the middleweight title to become the rightful Bellator champion. <clears throat> now, with that being said, let's get into the other reason this is a doozy. Because we got Michael Venom Page versus David Caveman Rickles. Woo! Put some motherfucking respect on that Rickles, too, boy. That's where my fucking connection comes in. I've never met him personally or anything like that, but his, like, Twitter handle is, like, the Caveman 316 that 316 area code coming from motherfucking Wichita, Kansas, which is where I personally was born and raised. Now, I moved here and there and there and blah, 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 but that's where I was born and raised. That's where he fights out of, you know, so... That's one of the first fighters I ever wanted to interview as a channel. And so with that being said, he's also just broke the record in his last fight for the most Bellator fights of all Bellator fighters, I believe. Um, so he's got the most Bellator fights of all active Bellator fighters right now, David Rickles. And he's getting this opportunity versus Michael Venom Page. If you don't know who Michael Venom Page is, yes, the name Michael kind of shitty you know what i'm saying no one really likes anybody named michael it's just a fact my brother's name is michael terrible human being okay jokes but still fuck the name michael but still the venom page the vp mvp ain't nothing to fuck with mvp is like the off brand the fruitios version of anderson silva he's the bellator anderson silva you know what i'm saying fucking shit up, dancing in the octagon, knocking shit out, literally putting dents in people's skulls and then throwing pokeballs at him and shit. He's a fucking, you know, it's a circus. It's fun with him. He's a very, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> He's a very exciting striker, Michael Venom Page is, sort of like Anderson Silva. And it's usually entertaining to watch him fight. Now, lately, he's been, you know, he just fought a professional boxing match and stuff like that. So, you know, he's been having fun and sharpening his skills. Is he the most well-rounded mixed martial artist? Probably not. We've seen him controlled on the ground in one of his fights versus, I, I forget who, Fernando Gonzalez, if I'm not mistaken. But I think he still went on to win the decision MVP did. But still, you know, he doesn't have, you, if, he gets to, if he was to get matched up with a fucking Frankie Edgar or, you know what I'm saying, a fighter like that, he might get taken down, but if he gets put against a striker or anybody that doesn't plan on wrestle fucking him, you're going to have a show when you watch MVP fight. Michael Venom Page is a guy that when I first found out about him and saw one, one or two of his highlights, I literally wanted to go watch every single one of this guy's fights. I was like, yo, why didn't I know there was another Anderson Silva? What the fuck? And then as you become, you know, more in depth, you realize, okay, so it might be a little favorable matchmaking, but MVP still legit. So for MVP to be fighting David Rickles out of my fucking hometown, huge opportunity, co-main event on top of one of my favorite fighters, Gegard Mousasi, fighting for the Bellator title. Yo, fucking Bellator 200 couldn't couldn't be any better for me, and I'm sure it's just gonna get better with the rest of the card. Bellator 200, we know UFC 200 was a big deal. Bellator 200 is a big deal. Might not be to some of you guys, you know, you might not really give a fuck about the Musashi Carvalho fight or the MVP Rickles. Well, I'm sure you probably give at least one of them. But either way, both of those fights are fucking huge to me. Can't wait. Bellator 200. May 25th, holy smokes, just announced in London, you, Bellator 200, 
um, main event, Musashi vs. Cavallo, co-main event MVP vs. Rickles. With that being said, let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm out. Bye, Felicia.